Hello and welcome to Blackpool from Upside Down Hair Travels. So big news on the, this video today. So I'm down in the South Shore area of Blackpool on the corner of Rhythm Road and Waterley Road opposite the Royal Oak or what was the pub which closed early this year. So I'm going to wander down Waterley Road itself down towards the, uh, the promenade. So this is my first uh, video when I'm actually under an umbrella. So a bit of a different one for me, you might see the, the brolly popping in and out at the top of the top of the shop. So why am I having walked down Waterley Road on a wet and dreary Sunday? So all will become apparent very soon, but what a difference a day makes. So last night I was out doing the fireworks live down on the Tower Headlands, there in a t-shirt. Uh, people enjoying the nice warm dry weather. Woke up this morning and it is absolutely teeming it down. So yeah, under a brolly. So for those who know Blackpool or visited Blackpool many, many times will have seen Waterloo Road and the South Shore area be going downhill for probably the last, well, since the turn of the century, I'd say, the last 24, 25 years, you've seen banks close, bars close, uh, the Royal Oak pub, which I mentioned at the start, closed at the beginning of this year. That was always, always a really popular pub. Always full, always live bands. I used to be in there every Saturday night. Now, no more. So that might get uh, turned into apartments or flats. We've seen the once really, really busy uh, markets, indoor markets, turned into nothing more than just cheap, cheap stores. We've seen the post office disappear. Nothing's ever happened with that one. There was talk of that being uh, renovated into something special, never happened. So as you walk towards the, uh, the prom itself, we've got the Old Hearts Christmas shop. So this used to be the Old Woolworths building, opened back in 1928. When Woolworths went out of there, I mean, like, it's, dead, it's dead, let alone the weather. There's not much down south shore at the minute. Um, so, when, Wool when Woolworths pulled out of the Hearts building, so it was the Woolworths second building in Blackpool, after the one in town, it turned into a, more like an indoor market. So the news coming out of uh, the south shore area is, this absolute eyesore, so Hearts Christmas shop that closed back in 2019, I think it was. So after best part of 90 years trading, closed its doors and then over the last five years it's been left basically to rack and ruin. So the big news that's coming out is that tomorrow on the Monday this is actually going to start being demolished. Long time coming. So I feel sorry for Notriani's right next door. They've had to put up with it for the last five years as it's gone worse and worse. Uh, a couple of weeks ago they started putting the barriers up. So the news that's coming out is that on Monday they're actually going to start coming in to demolish it. So what's going to come in its place? So there has been talks of different things. There was talks of it turning into yet another car park. That ain't happening, I believe. So more plans went in place. I mean, look at it, it's a complete state. That's been like that for five years, getting worse and worse. People breaking in, graffitiing. Um, so talk is now 
soon as this gets demolished, plans are in place for holiday, holiday apartments on the upper floors when it's uh, rebuilt. I'll try and get a graphic and put that on. And bars and a few shops on the uh, lower floor with some car parking space as well. But yeah, long, long overdue. Definitely a big, big bit of news for the, show, for the South Shore area of Blackpool. Say so since the turn of the century, Waterloo Road seems to have been forgot about. So we've seen in the town centre, as you come out of the train station, you've got a brand new hotel, you've got a brand new Sainsbury's, you've got brand new office blocks being built and one that's there already. You've got new pubs, bars, restaurants, shops opening in the town centre. Not too many, but there's still quite a few. Down Waterloo Road, there's been little things tried, but because of footfall they failed. So hopefully, and I'm saying hopefully, when this gets dropped starting tomorrow, uh, and the new build starts, you're gonna get a lot more uh, infrastructure around Waterloo Road and Bond Street. And so, I'm gonna wander down Bond Street now and you can see the state of, uh, of Bond Street as well. So turn of the century, around about 2000, 2001-ish, this was still busy, even on a, a day when the weather wasn't brilliant. Now you've just got shops that are either boarded up, windows smashed. The whole area has gone in decline. So we're hoping as soon as this, uh, the Hearts building gets dropped, there'll be a lot more money spent in the area. And that uh, the South Shore area of Blackpool will start to get a lot more spent on it. It'll turn into what they're trying to do in town and have a gateway to Blackpool. So as you can imagine, you've come off Blackpool uh, South Train Station and you've come to this. Yeah, massive eyesore, loads of shops closed or you come into town via North Train Station and you've got brand new hotels, you've got a new cinema, you've got money spent all over the place. So yeah, long overdue. So keep an eye on my channel. I'm hoping to get down tomorrow when they start the uh, demolition and I'll be going through the journey of the rebuild. So a full demolition groundworks and hopefully the birth of the best place to come to in the South Shore area in the coming years. So it's going to be a long process. There's a big building, opened back in 1928, closed 2019, stood empty for five years. So let's see what, uh, what rises from the rubble, not quite the ashes, it's not burning down. Let's see what rises from the rubble. So keep an eye out for any updates. I'm sure there'll be many other YouTubers around Blackpool also doing the updates. So I'll keep an eye on all of those as well. And let's hope it has a massive knock on effect to this once thriving area, now forgotten part of Blackpool. So I'll come on Blackpool Council, make sure you don't let it just be one building that gets redone. So I'll speak to you all soon. I'm going to go and enjoy myself in Otrianis now, even though it's raining. Uh, go and get myself another milkshake. Great milkshakes from that place. Um, so take care of yourselves. Live life. Love life. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.